We're in Windows Server 8, and I'm going to show you an overview of uh, Active Directory domains and trusts. So click on the Start button in the lower left corner, and then move over to the right. Click on Active Directory domains and trusts, and here we'll see the domains and trusts well, along with our domain listed. From here, we can right-click do various different things such as change the forest if we have another forest we can connect to or change the Active Directory Domain Controller. We can view the Operations Master and from here we can change that as well. We can also right click raise the forest functionality level. Right click again and we can export the list and go into the properties. So we don't have any UPN suffixes, but that's also a place you can go. Go ahead and go to the domain itself. You get some different options. You can manage it. And from here, we can see the Active Directory Users and Computers pops up when you choose to manage. Close that. If we right-click again, we can raise the domain functional level instead of the forest, as we did earlier and this is already at the highest level at this time. We can export the list or go to properties and in our properties we see some general information such as the domain and forest functional level. We can create a trust at this point and put in management information. So that's an overview of Active Directory domains and trusts for Windows Server 8.